Okay, so I've got to admit something. I did actually paint this. I put a base colour down of um, a mix of like brown and yellow and white um, just to give it basically a type of brown colour as its base. I then went on to add some shadows so it really makes the rocks pop out and then I added highlights which was a mix of whites, yellows and oranges. I actually spent most of the evening painting this and uh, when I went to bed I still wasn't quite happy and then I realised when I woke up in the morning that there's not many bricks that are completely brown and I don't know really why I chose to do this whole thing in that colour. So I'm actually going for grey colours so this piece is going to go from this to this. Okay, so I'm not completely finished because what I've got to do is keep waiting for uh, the paint to dry so I can do more highlights because they seem to fade a little bit um, whilst they're drying. But I am much happier with this. Um, what I'm sort of going for is more sort of volcanic look. When you look uh, closer to it, there is like little bits of brown and orange which look a bit like um, a little bit lava. <laughs> well, it does to me. As I've already painted this, I'll just quickly go over to the lid that I have still left to paint and I'll show you what I've really done here and show you some techniques you can use. So, I've done a base colour and there's actually a few different shades in this but you might not be able to see. Also what I've done is because I do still want a bit of the brown, the orangey colour to come through, I haven't completely covered it so you can still see bits coming through. Now, what you basically want is uh, brown, black, white and orange, but this is completely up to you because you could paint this whichever colour you like, you could have a whole purple one if you like, but for me I am going for this. Okay, so firstly I'm going to want to like try to separate some of the rocks even more. So what I am doing is mixing all the colours I just listed, um, black, brown, orange and white, and, and I'm basically just going to go over, and with this the paint's kind of dry and I'm just sort of going like this, just splattering it. Uh, I just think it gives it a more natural effect. I'm now mixing the black and brown together to make sort of a uh, shadow area to really emphasise all the rocks. So I've got some tissue paper under here and I'm trying to dry out as much paint as possible. It's sort of like a dry brush effect but you still got to get some paint on there. I just don't want loads. By the way, if you can hear the weather outside, today has been horrendous. It has been rain, sun, thunder and lightning, sun, rain, sun, and now rain again. So, you know, I don't know what's going on, but anyway. So now I'm just going to go over and once again, just go crazy. Just, I'm trying to keep it sort of around the edges of the rocks, but it doesn't really matter. The amount of layers you put on, you can be as messy as you like. That is what I'm doing right now. Another thing you can do is a dry brush effect that I just sort of briefly mentioned and you basically get paint on your brush, so I'm using white, and then you use kitchen roll, tissue roll sort of thing, wipe as much of it off as possible and then go over slightly. It might still be a bit wet actually where I've just put the black on it so this white's going a bit grey. But it gives you this sort of like used effect, which, you know, as I said, nature isn't like perfect and it's going to look sort of worn away a bit. What I'm doing is mixing black, brown and orange and I'm going to add that back into this and once again I'm sort of using a dry effect, but not too much, this is a difference. As I said, probably the black. You can sort of still do this dry effect, but with more 
paint. So the more paint you get on your brush, the more it's going to get on here. And yeah, I'm just trying to highlight certain areas. Okay, so I'm pretty uh, proud of this at the moment. I've done the highlights, the shadows, all different tones. I'm much happier with it grey than I was when it was brown. All I've got to do now is uh, paint the inside black, just so it all matches. Um, and then the next stage will be sealing it all.